You've been training now for 40 plus years. You have the physique of a man half your age. What's the secret? I have a responsibility yeah, to house and move forward and to be better. Uh, Take care of this. Remember that. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, buddy. In AD 47, a man wrote called Junoro wrote Mansanus and Corpusana. A healthy mind in a healthy body. That was 2,000 years ago. For me, Dave, that's boy. just as true today. Yeah, buddy! Yep, yep, yep! Oh! Oh! It was possible. The gym environment in the 70s and 80s was on a different level. When I hang out with these guys, everything is possible. And that was the fitness industry. Bodybuilding was growing. You know what? The mind is a powerful thing. You just could feel the energy as you walked into the gym. with the strict, strict, strict diet. Train, train, train hard. Rely on the hard work is what this sport was built on. Oh! What you're capable of doing, not no one. No matter what you're faced with, as long as you deal with it, have the balls to move forward and say, you know what, I believe I can do it, get out there and do it. against the corner, bodybuilders made me stronger, I'm going to come out swinging and punch it, and it's one of the greatest sports in the world, an individual sport, and when you come out, you come out on top, you come out on top, you come out on top, You're, you're struggling, you know, it's like you're on a backpack took you in the ocean. It's up to you to fight and get out of it. There's no teammates to pull you out of it. That's the duty of a man. You gotta be strong, you gotta learn how to be strong individually by yourself. So you're gonna go through those deep holes and valleys and every single thing in life, as long as you have the guts, the determination, the dedication, the discipline, to move forward. But more than anything, it's just the mental toughness that I learned from that. If it gave me something challenging, go out. You have to pay attention to a tight waist. You have to pay attention to presentation. You have to pay attention to posing. As you can train until you drop, you get all the sets and the reps. But if your nutrition is not right, it's not going to cook. You have to get the nutrition down. When you restrict all of these 
candy, pizza, all this junk. You start zooming in like this to your diet. Your mind becomes zoomed in on zero carbs and you start thinking tunnel vision. The focus yeah, becomes like a power. Never let anyone tell you or dictate what you can and what you can't do. Because, I mean, who are they? Every single rep. Bodybuilding now, you know, it's a lifestyle for me. You know, I go with the attitude not to look at the other competitors, but just to be the best that, that I can be. To improve my physique the best that I can. And it's the only thing I can do. Zane can do one set of sit-ups. One set of sit-ups for an hour. Wow. Where are these guys from? Having that mindset needs to be able to go in that gym and see their body, and see each muscle group as a piece of art. That's what my body is. My body overall covered is a canvas. So I want to create this incredible physique, muscle development, muscle separation. You know what? The mind is a powerful thing. Back me up against the corner, body building take me stronger. I'm gonna come out swinging and punch it. And it's one of the greatest sports because it's an individual sport. And when you come out, you come out on top. It was an ideal subject in which to base the, the ideal bodybuilder on. Good looking, great physique, um, on top. lots of mass appeal to the general public. That's not just physical, that's also in the well-being, the spiritual and, and mental well-being. The discipline that bodybuilding have to, have to offer that you can channel in other facets and other angles of your life. That's what we want to give the public.